Good morning, guys. I think I deleted the video I was trying to start. But I just want to clarify uh, what it means to call upon the name of the Lord. It's a good thing. Absolutely a good thing. If you're a sinner and that you don't know um, who to call upon, but you want God to reveal who he is to be saved, right? But I've seen people call upon the Lord. They're not calling upon the Lord to be saved eternally. They're really calling upon the Lord. Oh man, I'm praying to the Lord. I'm praying, God save me, help me, help me. Man, do you, you face them and they're like, well, you know, yeah, you confront, confront them with, do you believe the gospel though? Do you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ? Do you believe that he died for your sin? Well, you know, I mean, I'm praying, I called on the Lord, I cried out to the Lord and to save me and <laughs> it's a big difference. Calling the name of the Lord is, has different connotations. If you want to believe on the Lord for salvation and you are really wanting the Lord to save you, you know, you're seeking for truth, you want the truth man God will reveal a prayer like that if you're calling upon the name of the Lord to reveal who he is it don't matter who, what country you're from if you're from Cambodia you're a, a I don't care what country Africa um, the pygmies you know anybody anybody we're all called God has placed us all in a place in the world he's he's sovereign it's places where we ought to be to call upon his name. There's no shame in call upon his name to be saved. There is not. Man is without excuse. But when it comes to calling upon the name of the Lord to be saved, you got to put it in context what that means. When you're calling upon the name of the Lord, okay, if you want to be saved, meaning understand salvation well God re will reveal what that means friend he didn't make he made some mistake that's his business that's what he does man's without excuse reason why they are without excuse I mean you can tell a man they might cry out when they're in trouble and hurting and and, and in need oh God save me they might call God save me right in need they're hurting but the truth of the matter when you go up to them and I've experienced this friend I've experienced this personally oh God help me save me you know Danny pray for me or this whatever it might be but when you confront them with do you believe that Jesus died for your sins do you believe this that he's the son of God God for your sins was buried and rose again. That if you put your trust right now on him, your trust, you will be saved today. Well, I mean, I've cried out to God, but I don't know about that. I don't know, man, I don't know. I, I pray for God to help me and... <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens. I don't care how bad in situation they are. They're ready to kill themselves before they would ever believe. They cry out to God to save them, but they <laughs> call on the name of the Lord. But they ain't in faith. It's not in faith, friend. That's the difference. Yeah, you can call on a God to uh, reveal who he is, meaning I'm calling upon the name of the Lord to reveal. But God re will reveal if you want to be saved, even, even if you're a stupid idiot, he's going to reveal who he is. He's going to reveal who he is. Now, here I am. Now, what are you going to do with me? Do you believe on me or do you not? I'm the son of God that died for your sins. And the Holy Spirit convicts them of it. They just, nah, you know, I don't think I want to. I just, see, you see the difference? That's the difference. Calling upon the name of the Lord 
in and of itself is a great thing. It'll reveal God is in the business of salvation. But calling upon the name of the Lord, and God's going to put himself in front of you, and then you got to make a decision. Guess what? Do you believe? Do you believe? You can cry and crawl in the name of the Lord to the day you die. That will God not get you saved. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for you that you could not do for yourself. He died on the cross for you personally. Personally. Until you do that, if he didn't pay for your sins on the cross, he died, he was buried and rose again. If you don't place your trust on that Lord Jesus Christ, guess what? You can call till doomsday till hell freezes over and you will not be saved amen amen